Hi, hello, how are you? Quick disclaimers. I've never really done a prep with me for a holiday kind of a vlog before as much as I do vlog. Prepping for a holiday takes a lot of effort, especially when what you're going on is A, not a holiday. It's a holiday come work trip, come content trip, this whole situation. And two, because I'm going to be gone for five full weeks, literally Gerard and I are traveling for 35 days and this is the longest I've ever traveled for continuously in my adult life. I've done living out of a suitcase, coming home for a week, getting out again, but the break of coming home and unpacking a suitcase and repacking it for a different location or a country is different. In one go, prepping for 35 days is another thing. I know I've done this when I was in school, when my family and I have done longer summer vacations, but I don't think I've ever in my adult life done this. So I'm excited, but I'm also so nervous about getting the prep right. And I have a feeling that this vlog is gonna go all over the place. So let me quickly break down a few things into a little set of notes points over here that I know I need to achieve. And then as we achieve them and how we achieve them is going to be in the most miscellaneous order. You get it, right? The girls that get it, get it. Okay, first things first, I'm trying to take as many separates for this for this trip as possible um, because I want to be able to mix and match and make looks happen. I am not as much into fashion moments as I used to be, but I'm trying to get back into it. I'm trying to bring my game on. And uh, I have a whole lot of pants that I've ordered very recently, you've seen a whole bunch of vlogs in the recent past, but some have a loosish waist so that it sits right on the hips. Some have a little bit of a looseness on the hips that needs to be adjusted. And I think at least two or three of them particularly need the length altered. So one is bottom wear fitting that needs to go on my to-do list. I need to get with, uh, I need to get some time with my mum and give her all of this. My mum makes clothes. She's into Western as well as Indian wear. And I'm going to give this to her to take to her workshop where her, uh, her workshop team will kind of alter these things for me. I feel very lucky to have that. Second, I need to do an intensive round of fittings. This is a mix of things that brands and designers have gifted me as well as a few pieces that are sourced, which means I will wear them on the trip, give them credits across the content and give these pieces back to the brands or designers. So fittings is really, really important. That for sure is not happening today because I know there's a few more pieces on the way to me still. I want everything to come together and then figure what I'm taking, what I'm not taking and jot those looks down. Um, third, I need to make a run to the bank. I have applied for a Forex card online but it turns out that you can only apply for one forex card at a time. I want two because I want Jerry and I to both have forex cards on us. So a bank run is definitely, it sounds like I want to steal things from the bank. Oh no! Bank errand morning is definitely there. I also need to get some cash exchanged because I want to have some kind of cash apart from the forex on me. Um, there's going to be a whole grooming sesh but I'm going to let that be a separate video because I'm going to try to keep the video is a little bit shorter. I know all my videos are like around 30 minutes. God knows how long this one's going to be. Um, but that's going to be a separate glow up video because I'm really going hard on the glam this time before this trip. And uh, a few other random things that I'm sure will come up that I can't think of in present day. Um, in present day, just so you know, it is the 27th of May. And I'm planning all of these things that I need to do and trying to assign dates to when what needs to happen. But I'm in Hyderabad tomorrow and day after tomorrow. So that's a separate vlog, which you'll see. Uh, but there's like so much happening, overlapping at the same time that I need for things to come together somehow. Sami good juju. And hopefully we will do this right. I think I'm wearing the same outfit today as I was wearing a few days ago when I filmed the intro for this vlog. I think the first order of business that we're headed to, I'm dropping Jerry to work. Come, And then I'm headed to the bank to get my Forex card done. I wait. B R B. In a rickshaw, busy morning, dropping him off at the verified warehouse, and then from there we're headed to the bank. First order of business for me in order to start prepping and packing between all of the hundreds thing, hundreds of things that are going on is getting my forex card situation handled. Um, I have one forex card. I need to go get it activated. I need to get a second forex card because I want both of us to make sure it's on like we have cards on us at all times so headed to the bank obviously we'll not be able to vlog from the bank we'll try to get whatever snippets i can okay okay hi hello currently multitasking giving you guys updates about the bank forex card situation while getting ready for a completely unrelated shoot 
I got my Forex card sent to me a few days ago because I applied for it online itself. And then I had to go in because they said I would need to come in to apply for the second Forex card. So just in case you're traveling anytime soon and are using a Forex card, I've never used a Forex card before. I always, always, always land up just swiping my credit card everywhere. I'm avoiding using my credit card this time because the TCS percentages have been going up and down quite a bit. So I'm just using my Forex card, which seems to probably give me more stability in that sense when it comes to rates, percentages, markup, fee, TCS, all that kind of stuff. Um, so where I'm going with this is that you can technically from one bank account have only one Forex card issued on your name per account and I wanted Jerry to have a card as well so the person who I was there with unfortunately did not know this rule so they went ahead and issued two, the second card also on my name and then somehow my my general bank wealth relationship manager happened to be there and she heard the conversation so literally after 45 minutes of me sitting there um, she heard it she came she fixed the situation made me sign a whole new bunch of forms and I had to take one card on Jerry's name and one card on my name as opposed to both cards on my name because they can only issue one forex card per person um per account that kind of thing so i needed to split and have the second card on his name long story short keep an eye out on this when you are traveling um another little tip i mean i'm obviously talking in case of the us you guys know i'm going to the us by now wait have i mentioned that i'm going to the us by now Jerry and I are spending five weeks across the United States of America. Lots of travel vlogs coming your way. And uh, at least for the US, when I asked what is the limit to travel with in terms of cash with you. Again, I've never checked these things before, even though this is my fifth or sixth trip to the US because I just lined up using my credit card. The limit is uh, $3,000 in cash. You can't carry more than that. Whatever I'm telling you is what the bank manager said to me. So if you're traveling at a later point of time, obviously, please make sure to double check any updated rules, laws, etc, etc. And uh, if you are taking things on a Forex card, you can carry up to two and a half lakh dollars on a card, which is a lot of money. So yeah, there's that. So I've sorted my Forex card out for now and next week I will take some cash to take in hand as well just in case. Part 2 I think or well next part of prepping for this big upcoming trip Cleantha and I need to really get into this pile of clothes over here. Now keep in mind I am travelling for like 35 days so while of course I am travelling with my own wardrobe I do have the privilege and luxury of having brands give me clothes where I can shoot at really nice locations and create content which gives more variety to my looks as well. So what I am going to do now is deep dive into this pile over here. Is this everything or do we have more pieces? Oh, uh, yeah, this is all. Just one is left to come. It's pending to come. Yeah. So I'm going to be going ahead and trying these pieces. I'll show you a little snippet set over here. Essentially, it's time for fittings and to see what I'm taking and what I'm not taking. I'm dreading this. Fittings are not fun. You change too many times. Okay, can you? No, you can't see the outfit all the way. I will adjust this. This is outfit number one. Now this outfit is really special because it's my mom's. My mom's been into Indian clothes for so so long but she's getting into western wear and I'm encouraging her to start like an Instagram store kind of thing. So go follow the handle. I'll leave it on the screen right now. Hopefully it's active by the time this video goes live. It's a really nice um, short dress. Has pockets which I love. I feel like <laughs> that's the best. I know right. I feel like when I'm traveling just a so, nice sling bag, crossbody bag, even a backpack just hanging on one side would look really really nice um it's linen and it's that really nice cotton blend type linen i don't want to say wrong fabrics because my mother will maro a jukta on me but like it's really nice and she said no it will not crease which is why i'm really happy about That's it because nice i was like mom i'm traveling i don't want complete linen because it creases so easily i think linen is so so elegant but you sit in a car you wear a seat belt and by the way, step out of the car, you have like crotch creases and this creases and chest creases and all of that. She said, no, this won't crease, don't worry. I am obviously traveling with a um, steam iron. In fact, at some point in this video, I'll take you through an Amazon haul of things that I ordered, especially utility things for this trip. So I'll try and do that really soon also. But I love it and it fits me perfect and um, we're done with outfit number one. Okay, we're on outfit number two and for a second I forgot that I was supposed to be vlogging this like completely blanked. 
and we were discussing how it's a really nice dress. I really, really like the way it fits on me. I'll obviously tag brands as in when I'm wearing these outfits through my vlogs. Don't worry, I don't want to get into too many details now. This video in any case is going to be quite long. It's going to be never ending. Um, the only thing is I was hoping and intending not to carry a strapless bra with me on this trip because I want to be super comfortable with all of my outfits. But I think I might have to carry it because if you see the way the bra is placed right now, it kind of like shows. So obviously I don't want that when I'm like on the go in things. So I am gonna have to carry my strapless bra, which I'm not loving the idea of, but you gotta do what you gotta do. We are confused. So basically, first we need to check whether this came in PR or whether this was sourcing. So Clea will check that in a bit. I can show this to you over here without like becoming naked on screen, I hope. Um, this slip over here is like super, super, super loose and the pants don't have the best fit. I have worn stuff from this brand before, in fact, just recently, but the pant fit was not great. Now, again, I'm going to show you something awkward. The crotch has this funny creasing thing going on on the front, but if I cover it like this, it works. But my fear then is that I can only pair yeah. these pants with other really long shirts that I'm taking with me. Because obviously, I can't just keep repeating this whole look through the trip. I'm going to have to mix and match. Like this would go really nicely with my denims also. The top is fine. I'll yeah. mix and match. But like this, what else can I pair it with? So I don't want to carry things that I can only wear one as a look. Because it's a 35 day planning packing. And I want to make sure that I can mix and match as much, much as possible. So we're going to have to check whether this is alterable, whether it was PR, whether it was sourcing and then kind of take a call. What do you think? Let me in the comments. Okay, so I kept the pants on to try this other shirt and I selected this shirt so I know it's come in PR. I love, love, love the detailing going on here. And actually it's long enough, no? To it's wear fine. with the pan. Does yeah. it look nice? I mean, a plain white would look better, I feel. But it's got like, it yeah, can yeah. be your look. Yeah. Because I'm going to take plain whites. Like I'm going to take one regular plain white. Mm -hmm. It's slightly sheer one that I have and like. I mean, at least the pant is getting reused in this. So, so maybe I just take the pants? Because I'm carrying quite a few nice loose shirts. That's my vibe. Oops. No? I'm going to stay away from kaftans on this trip. <laughs> <laughs> um... I mean, I might just take one. What if I just take one? I love my kaftans. I really like the detailing going on over here. So I do feel like this could potentially be this as an option and then this just the pant though. Yeah. Because I feel like the green top that I just tried on, the fit wasn't, I wasn't loving. The pant also look crotch issue is an issue, but at least it gets covered with like long pieces. And then I'm not only in denims or only in yeah, plain. Yeah, it's just a different color. Yeah, there's so. variety. Um, are you able to see? Yeah, okay, you can see. Because I don't want to like... The fit from your to bottom is really nice. Yeah, show them on cam because I feel like the angle might not do justice. Is it looking, is it showing properly? Yeah. The, you like it? I like the fit except the top portion but yeah. This yeah, is but good. this is nice. Yeah, huh? that's nice. Except this, this, this business going on over here with the crutch. Um, key. So I guess we're getting somewhere. Slowly. I don't know how I feel about this. Like, is it too... It's too cute? It's cute. But I'm confused about just the sleeving. But I, I like the color. It's, it's cute. I like the color, but is it too cute? Like, is it like... Like baby cute? Yeah, like baby cute. Is it baby cute? Kind of. Not to take or to take? Mm. Do we take a vote? Ask the Vaisha Lashman. What do you guys think? I think Devesh is just going to give you a confused <laughs> look if I ask him. I don't think I should take. It's very like baby cute. If you're going to some like cute place just for like a date, you know, you can do. Like yeah. Central Park. Take it, I think. Really? I'm it's, so confused. It's anyways, the material is not that heavy or anything. No, it's really cute and cotton and cute and cotton. Wow. I have mixed feelings. Keep it for backup? Yeah. Like a maybe? I think you can. Like, I'm sure you will go to at least one, two cute baby places. No, baby places. One. <laughs> but yeah, like... Like maybe if I do like a nice slick back pony and make it a little bit more Parisian chic instead of baby cute. Like is that... Can I... I think it's cute. You should take it. It's cute. Is it too no. cute? I'm, thir I'm turning 32 on this trip. <laughs> I don't want to like... You know, not dress my age. Let's, okay, let's put it in yeah. maybe for now. <laughs> okay, so I really like this suit. What do you think? I 
the problem is that the inner is not fitting like it's, it's really ha huh, it's not noticeable but i can feel it like it's really really yes. loose i'm going to have to keep adjusting it so i feel like even if i take this set which is really like chic and i can wear it to the couple of meetings that i do have planned on this trip i feel like the inner should stick to something that i have something that is basic so i'm not again carrying something specifically for the strip now like for this outfit now if i take another separate then i can wear that on its own also mm. so the inner is definitely getting rejected but i really like the set okay another set that i really really like printed comfy very like loose <laughs> yeah loose it's like very nice comfy vibe comes with these really nice pants again i can repurpose these pants with like other looks as well they're really nice they're like mid waist and i can wear them with other shirts and stuff also just in case you're wondering how i keep tab of what i'm wearing when i'm like tagging outfits or things like that on the trip cliantha and everyone before cliantha obviously who's worked for me make a doc with each of my outfits tagged like i know handles and brand names so when i'm on the go i refer to that pdf document and i know exactly which brand to tag where because it's not always possible to like no who you're wearing and some brands don't keep labels very surprisingly especially the smaller ones now yeah like they don't always keep labels so it's just a little inside on how i keep track i love this it's really nice very me yeah i was just going to say that comfy loose kaftan vibes not in a kaftan <laughs> We're confused. Yeah, why can't I see you on screen? Oh, the audio thing is covering you. Well, you know, I, <laughs> I can't see anybody. I don't know. So I really like the print, but I think I'm wearing a night suit. It looks like. Huh? No, it's a really nice print and it's super comfy. And I feel like the pants could go with other looks. I quite. like just the pant, maybe. Like the fit is also pretty good. Yeah, the fit of the pant is really no fit of everything. To be yeah. honest, is really nice. But does it Print look like I'm? Is. Yeah, I'm. It's not. It's the, also the cut that's making me feel like I'm in a night suit. It is. What do we do? I do. I do like the print in general. It's very like lounge wear, chill vibes. Maybe if I take one of my body suits, the same one neutral that I'm gonna have to take in any case for Wovala. Yeah. I just wear that Gentle inside. Also. And then leave it open, to be like, hey, I'm not in my night suit. <laughs> I swear. But because it's really nice. And the fabric is really, really nice. nice. Yeah, that's even I like it. Putting this in, but we'll need to style this up. It's What fine. happened? It's stuck. It's okay. Whoopsie. Lining issues. He he. Sorry. Hey, Thomas. I think it's nice. It's okay. Yeah. Like when we saw it as is, we were a little bit like, should we? Should we not? It's different. Uh huh. I think it's nice. Is it my style? It's not my style. It's slightly different, but maybe, but maybe that's try. a good thing because yeah, like try something. Different. Yeah, because my style is very like comfy, elevated basics. But since I told myself I'm not carrying heels on this trip, I mean I'll carry like one pair for like a night out or something. But I'm mostly wearing shoes you because there's so much walking exactly. everywhere. Um, I think take. Take. Yeah. Okay. The answer is take. So take. It's cute. Hi, I wore this outfit, but we're here forty-five minutes later because we got a call, and uh, lots of things in my our lives, mm. our work lives, are happening at the same time. So just need to coordinate life at this point. Wore this dress, and even though I think it kind of looks cuteish or kind of like the dance emoji, yeah. it's not. It's I don't like the fabric. It's not great. I, I mean, fitting. it only looks nice, but the fit's not great, and the fabric doesn't feel very comfortable. So this one is not coming with me, for sure. Okay, I kind of love, love, love this yeah. shirt dress. It looks really cool. I love the colors. It's got that loose chill fit. I have Puma shoes that are the same color. Oh, nice. So I feel like it'll just work really, really well. I love, I love the color block going on. Definitely taking this dress. I kind of love. Might be my favorite outfit that we've tried today like so, far. so far. So far. I know. I like this. It's a nice shirt dress, long vibe. It comes with a belt and show me the scarf, the head scarf. When I saw the lookbook, I think I Last said, week. I said, make sure it comes with the head scarf in the lookbook. This is a sourced piece, and I feel like if I just wear it properly, it can be like a really cool like look, like like a nice look. So this one is definitely 
coming with me on the trip. I really like this because again, the stuff is so me. I feel, but then I, I like this one. I'm a little like you can wear it while traveling for like internal flights or whatever. It's not looking like a night suit, right? Yes, sometimes I'm so confused. Actually, sometimes even I'm very confused these days. Cause like I'm always I don't know why I never used to second guess myself with my style but I have started second guessing my stuff myself. I like it and I would totally wear this like casual scene vibe. Maybe when it's all styled up it will. Yeah, it's really like comfy. Your That's what I'm saying. And the material is really. Yeah, nice. I love the material. I think it's nice. And I think it's also something I could travel in. Yeah, like so then you're not the internal like travel. Yeah, taking need to figure where to wear. Where to wear. The bodysuit was very comfy. I couldn't show you guys the bodysuit. I just tried before this because bodysuit, and also it was fully sheer, so I'd have to wear a slip with this and that. This dress is very cute. It's coming with me, and I feel like I can repeat an outfit like this also because it's like so cute and colorful. Colorful. Okay, I don't love. Aww. Now I know what you mean by it's looking big. Yeah, like, it's just looking too big. So imagine like I wish it was tighter and fitter, and then it would work. Supposed to be. Also with this dress that I just showed you guys, I do really like it. But yeah, once you wear like super colorful things, like Leanna pointed out correctly, you can't repeat it as much. So I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile and then we're gonna figure. But this is definitely a no. So I like the style. We like the style. It's a tad bit loose in the sense that like the crotch is a little bit hangy. Um, I can't show you inside because there's nothing inside. <laughs> it needs something on the inside. I feel like I should carry it just so I can wear these separately, even if I don't land up wearing it together. Although I do think that, I mean, I could make sense of it. You know what I mean? Like when I throw the separates in and stuff, yeah, I could that. make sense of it. I'm trying not to overpack on this trip, in all honesty, because I want to shop there. And even though the international legs have more weight for me to carry, the domestic legs, I'm trying to only have one suitcase because the budgets go up and up and up every time you add a suitcase in. The local carriers don't allow you to carry any suitcases with you for check-in. So just trying to minimize that as much as possible. So let's pick up. I just said I was gonna stay away from my kaftans. Clearly, I lied. Um, I love. I really, really do love. I feel like it'll look really nice to have this for like a sunset situation, for like a date night situation. Hello, I'm on my birthday on this trip. So just that, you know, that one really nice kind of outfit to have. And it's not all that kaftani because like, yeah, it's like a mix. But the back, I'll make dress. it look neat. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll need to need to make a dress come kaftan. I feel. I love it. I really like it. I should take it now. Yeah. Can you like put your hand up because you're hidden behind the table for whatever reason? <laughs> I can't like, see myself like, either. People are gonna think I'm talking to like my table and it's just gonna look weird. Nice. I think I should take it, and it's very light, so it won't take. Yeah, Any that's the best weight. <laughs> Most of these are like nice and light. Light, yeah. Big priority. I have one more outfit left for this entire fitting, and it's also a similar cut dress, kaftan. Beer be. Okay, I love this, but you know what? I won't take it. I love one. it, and I think I'll, I'll, I'll take that yeah. one, but I won't take this one. I do really, really, really like it, but I feel like that one has a better cut, and this one. No, I, I, I can do with just one of. Yeah, my calf down. This is average. I, I like that one. Nice. So we're taking that one. Not taking this one. And we're done with fittings, at least for now. Till my mom comes and gives me more outfits that she wants me to carry from her new collection. Strictly technically speaking, this is not supposed to be part of the prepping for the trip. This is more like prepping for after the trip. But I am planning to shop quite a bit on this trip, and for that reason, I really want to go hard on the way I declutter this wardrobe. Like I want to be mean, I want to be strict, I want to be all kinds of just if you know what I mean. If there are clothes I'm not reaching for, moments, I want to like Mary Kondo the hell out of this. Isn't that the way they say it? Because I have seen quite a few videos about this. I want to go hard on this simply and simply because I want to make space for new things. If I'm not wearing a certain outfit piece for whatever reason, I want to give somebody else the chance to. Anything that I think is obviously too bad, which thankfully I don't think anything from my wardrobe will be because I do declutter on a regular basis. I always ask myself while decluttering is, am I going to wear this till the end of its life, like of the product lifespan? Or can I be done with this and have somebody else 
use it and use it well better than i would so i know the way i declutter and kind of maintain my wardrobe in general keeping that factor in mind giving you a little montage of me decluttering the hell out of Okay, so I have landed up taking out a considerable number of things, things that I would typically procrastinate on and say, "Pehnungi, pehnungi, pehnungi." I have taken out a lot of this. Is going to be up on what on my wardrobe, leaving the handle on the screen, so you can go follow that and get your hands on these things. A little reminder that anything you purchase from my thrift store page is one hundred percent going to charity. I don't keep any of the money at all. We support. the underprivileged kids with health and education and i can feel my camera rotating right now remember the other day i said jerry was being a creep if you saw the video which was about um which was his birthday upload which was about him guessing my makeup prices literally the camera was just moving and he's looking at me right now i know it because i saw the camera moving jerry will you make some sound so the sub skin have proof see what i mean He said, "Where well, fam?" In case you couldn't catch that, he creeps up on me. He stalks me. Um, so I've taken out quite <laughs> such a weird moment there. I've taken out quite a few things, which will go into the. For me, it's like a donation pile because it's essentially getting thrifted and going to a good cause. What's also now up happening, which is really great, is that I ended up taking out a couple of pants. I'm going to take more out that need to get altered because those need to come with me on the trip. and uh, the length is too long and stuff so i'm going to send it to mama to take to her workshop to get the length altered so that i can take it to the trip and wear it there because at the moment every time i wear them i have to have to have to wear heels and i don't want to always have to wear heels right i'm in fact planning to mostly not even take heels with me i'm planning to just take shoes so i'm comfortable in traveling and on the go kind of a thing so i'm going to get to that next I did not climb up specially for this video. Let me say that I was actually filming with some, for something else, but the battery is charging at the moment. My mic battery is charging at the moment, so I thought I would come on here and show you a little Amazon haul. Everything that I'm showing you, I have shopped, keeping in mind that I'm headed on this trip, right? And I've shopped according to my exact needs, and I will need these things as I travel. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. So let me show you everything I have here in the basket, and then I'll double check with Amazon on my phone. Through the orders that I haven't missed anything, nothing in this video is sponsored at all. Um, now I've seen a lot of people traveling with these bags. I know that a lot of people swear by packing cubes, and I know that that's fantastic. But I don't know if I'm a packing cube cubes kind of person, because then you're kind of making more sections. What I am is a vacuum bags kind of person, which I'll get to in a quick second. But I've seen a lot of people traveling with these pouches, so I ordered a set of three. They're super, super simple, transparent, frosted finish. I ordered them in the pink variant. Wow, really having a pink moment here. And I ordered these in a set of three that come in three different sizes. They call themselves the wash bags. I don't know what that literally means. So there's a large, there's a medium, and there's a little chintu baby bag. These are going to be super, super helpful for me to have at hand when I'm looking to store my toiletries, etc. I'm a big pouch collector, so I do have a lot of pouches. But I've realized that as I do more and more content trips, my electronics, my this, my that, take up a lot of space. So it'll just be nice for me to. Have that recognizing thing that okay, I've taken one pouch. Where are the other two? You know what I'm saying. Um, also, because I'm traveling to multiple cities, it will just help. This next one is something I have never purchased before. I've heard about, and it's actually I think meant for like women post delivery because I saw a lot of postpartum vlogs and pregnancy vlogs and what's in my hospital bag kind of vlogs, and this came up there. But for whatever reason, Jerry insisted that we travel with one. I've never traveled with this before, so this is on his recommendation, not mine. A bidet, because as you may know by now, where we're going, I don't know when these vlogs are going up, and I'm trying to keep a little bit of not surprise, but like just like hey, it's fun. Maybe you know by now. Anyway, Jerry wanted a bidet because he was absolutely no no to the idea of um, being in tissue land. And even though I get used to it while traveling, he insisted on this. So 
when traveling with our very own bidet. That's a first for me. Next up, what's this? I ordered a whole lot of protein bars. I actually messaged Mridul and said, Mridul, you're obsessed with protein bars that are like yummy and chocolatey and yet at the same time healthy. What do you recommend? I bought what she recommended. I'm leaving links to everything down below. I got myself a new, I mean, I already have one pack here at home because obviously, but I ordered two more packs and this time when I ordered these two packs, I ordered only the heavy flow ones for Nua pads. These are in my top three pad brands. I should say this is not sponsored, purchased and they usually come in like light, medium, heavy flow mix boxes, but I ordered the only heavy flow boxes. Want to make sure they are correct. Yeah. So only heavy ones. I ordered only heavy ones because I felt like even if I'm going on a medium flow while traveling somehow, I just want to be on the safe side. Then we, I ordered two packs. I don't know if I'll travel with two packs. I'll travel with one pack, but that's that. I ordered two of these um, travel adapters, one for Jerry, one for me. I'm also going to be traveling with an extension board. It's not really a holiday, but it's a content trip. So we're calling it like a workation is what I like to call it. So I got two of these because they're going to be super, 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 super useful. And my extension board can go into it. Okay, then I ordered this Philips steam iron from Amazon. I literally only kept the box so I could show it to you. But this is what the steamer looks like. I already traveled with this to Hyderabad. So I think you saw that in my Hyderabad vlog when I was steam mining my outfit for the main event that I was there for. It is a little bit heavy. So I want to give you that disclaimer. Heavy in the sense, not heavy. But considering the size is so small and it's fully detachable, I was expecting for this to be a touch lighter. But I've heard amazing things about the quality and durability of it. So I guess if the weight, not that it is a heavy product, just that I expected for it to be a lighter product, if that makes sense considering that i've heard so much about the durability i guess the weight is a is a is a playoff is a spin-off that i'm gonna have to you know be okay with it's small and comfortable whoops wow i'm gonna break it before i can take it wow no no nothing happened i swear and the last thing i ordered i was seeing vacuum bags to you earlier i always 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 like to travel with these i would do it for long haul flights even before i was married i haven't done such a long haul flight in a really like such a long haul trip i'm sorry in such a long time so i ordered a whole fresh set i haven't I'm, i don't want to open it right now because i want to do it when i'm like properly packing it's just my, my my studio room if you look around right now is a disaster it is a mess like literally suitcase full of clothes not closing spare suitcase things everywhere here 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 and then like here it, everything's just everywhere if i'm being honest and that's i think how this week is going to be so these are basically bags that come with a little puncture and a vacuum pump this is the vacuum pump that it comes with. I know it's like big and it seems like, oh my God, you're just increasing the number of things you need to pack. But it will basically completely compress um, my clothes and suction out all the air, which makes your bags more roomy, more spacious. And if the things with, the, like one of the things that doesn't get talked, in, or talked about enough, if I'm being perfectly honest, is as a content creator or as a travel content creator or just as a vlogger you travel with a lot of equipment and that equipment lands up taking a substantial part of your suitcase right i'm just going to give you an example so you get my pov a little bit my vlog cam an extra lens at least three of my batteries a tripod a long light my small light multiple chargers multiple uh, memory cards memory cards are small they don't take space but each thing adds up and because you know you need to charge all of these things every day um, there's that adapter that you saw but I'm going to take an extension board so I feel like a lot of space gets taken up and even though a lot of it might be within your allowed limit uh, weight wise depending on what airline you're flying on the space only gets used up so a vacuum bag is actually something i would highly recommend especially if you're doing long trips especially if you have weight limits so gerard and i are planning to put everything i don't know how we're gonna do this we're planning to put pack everything into mid-size bags and then put our mid-size bags into full-size bags because on our domestic legs we are actually having to pay for each and every suitcase the domestic legs um two out of three of them uh don't allow any suitcases so you have to pay for every suitcase you check in they only allow, uh, allow cabin bags usually um and now in 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 this case obviously 
we're gonna have to so to try and minimize that we're not taking a second suitcase we're taking just that one suitcase but in all likeliness i am gonna land up shopping on the first leg also but i'm not so stressed about that because she comes to india to visit and she lives there so when she comes here she fills up her bags in india so she's traveling to india with pretty much an empty bag and i'm going to use her weight and her space by sending some shopping her way hopefully let's figure let's see and um, all of these khayali pulaos in the hair but not gonna lie i'm a little bit intimidated about the packing aspect and bringing everything together aspect trying to slay outfit looks or at least like get really nice chic elevated basics my kind of style kind of looks um and yet at this and i i want to repeat them but i also want to make sure they're separate so i can mix and match my brain is in khima land and i don't know how to this is why today is my last shoot day i have to go shoot for a client's content as soon as the mic is um charged and then the next four days i just need to focus on this stuff amazon haul rant all over and um hopefully you'll see me packing really soon let's see if i figure that that out at all hi um i need to have just a 2 minute reality check for myself more than anything else with you it is tuesday i am leaving on saturday am i excited as hell and so grateful that i'm able to do a 35 day long trip yes i fully am am i getting a little bit nervous and overwhelmed thinking of the packing more than anything else yes i am i feel like when it comes to the content that i know i want to do on this trip i'm very clear on what i want to do and how i might bring it to life i feel like when it's come to planning this trip um i've been on my a game i've aligned logistics partners collaborations taking work all of those things it's now only where i feel like i'm getting a little bit overwhelmed for the packing stage and I'll, let me tell you why because this is going to sound really stupid without me giving you any context so i don't know if i've mentioned this before so i'm sorry if i'm reiterating but india to the us i am allowed um a certain amount of luggage i'm flying on air india where each of us have 23 kgs two suitcases with 23 kgs plus cabin bag and then of course india to the us and then us to back india i know i don't know if i've mentioned where i'm going but there you go now you have it i just really want to be just raw or just us here having this conversation however i am traveling to four different cities and three different states across this trip and on every domestic leg and this is going to sound really petty to someone who doesn't care about paying for luggage but i'm somebody who is already spending a bomb on this trip very honestly in terms of just taking a month off in terms of the way i've lined things up in terms of the shopping i'm planning taking everything into account when i'm budgeting right um i am i'm obviously kind of dreading the idea of having to pay for every suitcase on every leg so just a little bit of a news flash most parts of europe and all pretty much all of the us uh charges you per check in suitcase i'm saying this and giving you this is a fair warning in case you haven't traveled to these places and you will this will help you plan better i hope and i'm trying to pack in a way that my mid size suitcases go inside my full size suitcases so that then i only have to pay for one suitcase per leg per person of course it's not possible for jerry and me to both travel for a whole month in literally combined one suitcase the reason i'm still obviously taking the second suitcase is because on my last leg um is where i'm hoping to do most of my shopping that's where i'm at and i think that the stress of packing light is driving me a little bit crazy and making me procrastinate the packing part of it i'm usually someone who packs done done go because i travel quite often whether it's domestic even or internationally right in general i'm really grateful for that alhamdulillah but i feel like because i'm getting a little intimidated with the idea of sitting down and packing for 35 days and trying to pack light while i'm at it and mind you equipment takes up a chunky dory portion of your luggage if you're a full time content creator so i'm just figuring how to do that i also want to try and serve looks i feel like i've mentioned this before so i'm really sorry if i'm repeating 
um, I'm trying to take as many separates and I'm telling myself it shouldn't be about the fashion or it doesn't have to be about the fashion. It can be about just travel and lifestyle content and the way I take this whole trip. I have told everyone around me in my life, my agencies, my clients, my uh, my peers, people who I work with, my team, absolutely everybody knows and I'm just not going on a holiday. I'm not going off uh, the grid. I am going on a work trip. This is an end-to-end -end content trip. And even though I set up an autoresponder because there's a obviously a huge time lag, I want to make sure I'm professional enough to give people that because I'm somebody who's really like particular about prompt responses to people, like really, really particular. Like my team knows that at the end of every day, every email that's coming by six o'clock needs to be responded to by them. Anything that comes between six and seven can go to first thing next day because we work till seven. We, we, we uh, like our office hours, if you go to see, um, are 11 to 7. And then sometimes it's earlier, sometimes it's later, depending on the season and how busy they are. I know I'm going in many different tangents and directions over here. But I'm sitting here looking at one suitcase. This is a mid inside it. There's two suitcases with a whole lot of clothes. Literally, it isn't even closing on the side. Can you tell? Um, and then suitcase three over there which pretty much has the mid inside it and i'm just like i know i can do this i just need to figure my ish out i need to get i need to get the overwhelming feeling out and just get to it that's where i'm at okay bye not keep okay, bye not keep okay, bye i'll leave a montage of me struggling or maybe i should just keep okay, bye because i don't want you to see me struggling so much gonna sound so stupid for being overwhelmed about something like this so stupid uh, FYI in case you're curious uh, literal random travel anecdote over here we're traveling United on the first two legs domestically and then on the final leg we booked Southwest and on Southwest airline in the US they allow you to have two check-in bags there were just no direct flights available on the other two legs. So I couldn't do Southwest everywhere. Oh, I would have loved to. Because it would obviously make my life so much easier. Um, and uh, how much are we paying per additional bag? I think we're paying 3000 for every first bag. And then 4000 and then 5000 for every additional bag. Something like that. Look up the websites. Keep an eye on these, in these pieces of information before you make your bookings. I'm going to go back now. I'm about to admit what most 31 year olds might not admit. I need my mommy. I just called my mom and I said to her that mama I'm getting overwhelmed. I just want to make sure I'm not over or under packing. And I want to make sure that I have enough looks. <laughs> Will you come and help me just finalize the final like the final final. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm feeling less overwhelmed now. But I do feel like I want her opinion on the things I've packed. Because I'm a mommy's girl like that. There's a few pieces I need to try. So I'm going to do that. She's going to come here in around an hour and a half-ish. My mum said 45 minutes to an hour. Which basically means hour and a half-ish. Because this is her working time also. So I understand. That's fine. <laughs> She's going to slap me when she sees this. Um, I am going to quickly try these pieces off cam. To make it quick, easy. This video is long enough by now. I'm very sure. And then figure with her on the final looks. Much, much, much later. Hi, I have mommy here with me and I am feeling so much less overwhelmed. We've got 17 pairs of tops, including tops and jackets. Yes. We've got five, six dresses. We've got about eight to ten bottoms. I have a few of my bottoms coming from her workshop that are currently being altered. Yeah. I'm not as good as her in packing because she has like a packing gift. I was telling them earlier how I'm feeling overwhelmed because it's like such a long trip and how I'm trying to stay under budget and not pay for excess weight yeah, on those bloody domestic flights. Yeah, I'm gonna... I don't have to manage now a little bit. Yeah, manage, but anyway, there you'll have to, right? Domestic. Here's hoping not. Okay. Here's hoping not. Uh, Jerry has challenged me. Your things for a month are going to fit in a bag and a cable bag? Uh-uh. And I'm like, I'll show you. I think we manage. I think we manage. Yes. Hoping. Yes. I feel better. <laughs> 
Hi, we are on T minus zero. Literally tonight is when we're leaving for the US and I want to give you a quick update on the packing situation because I've really clearly been at it. Yesterday is when I sat and emptied all the bags and rearranged everything inside them. I have zero B-roll of this because I was taking a vendor call while doing it. I was rearranging it in my nighty. I was getting ready right after to film a branded piece it was a it's my life has been a little bit chaotic in the last few days and i'm very grateful for all of it so i don't mean to make this sound complaining at all i'm actually someone that really enjoys the crazy chaotic days and i feel like i thrive under pressure if that makes sense alhamdulillah of course um where am i on the packing situation today so it turns out i've told you guys we're doing four different cities on this trip and I have to take a bunch of things for my family that we're meeting in city number two. We're meeting family on city on city number two and city number four. So there's a bunch of things I need to take. So while I'm flying from India to the US, I do have um, two full 23, 23 kilo check-in luggages allowed plus the cabin bag. So India to US in general, I am taking both the bags, which I was avoiding to do. And then I'll see once I empty things out on leg one and then leg two, because I'm meeting people on leg one as well. I'm gonna figure out the situation on how many suitcases come with me throughout but I'm telling myself and being mentally prepared that abhi hathi nikal gai hai, main kaha pooch pakar ke rakhu. it's one of those things where I'm like okay now it's done it's done I'm just gonna let this bag situation be as is in fact if I'm being perfectly honest and I said this to Jerry and my mom yesterday there's a very good chance I'm gonna buy a new suitcase there and bring back here because I know I'm gonna shop that much but I have a family friend who's coming back around the same time who shops here I think I mentioned this already I feel like I mentioned this already. They come and shop like for Indian snacks and foods and things here because they live there. So they're coming back with a mostly empty suitcase. So I might just say, hey, here for your empty suitcase. So your suitcase doesn't get spoiled in the transit because that happens when you travel with mostly empty suitcases. Anyway, um, there's this, uh, while I end this video, let me leave you on a dramatic note of what has happened and gone down in the last 24-ish hours. I had a spare number for a very short period of time. Um, I used V and I had a spare number taken because I needed a certain number of numbers to be on a family plan. As it turns out, we deactivated the chip but seems like somebody else is using it and I'm getting bills for it. So even though it's a hectic day, I have to do my last minute packings and things like that. Today is when we're leaving. Um, I have to go ahead and uh, make a run to the V store and say hello, what the hell is going on and uh, disconnect the chip once and for all and take proof for it because when we got it disconnected last time they didn't give us anything in writing so there's a little learning for us. I am gonna get going do that and you are going to start seeing travel vlogs really really soon which I'm super kicked for you to see. <sighs> Thank you for watching this video. I know it's definitely a long one. I will see you in the next one from my travels.